Good morning, everyone. Uh, today I'm going to bring you a video about how I put the uh, chocks, uh, kind or chocks, onto the trailer today. I've got an idea how uh, I can put them on where I can just pin them on real quickly and take them off again just for security reasons. So we'll get started here. The first thing I've done here is I've used the uh, saw cuts in my driveway and I've taken a construction uh, snap line, chalk line with uh, blue chalk. And I have marked out, um, I believe you'll be able to see it here in the video, uh, the dimensions of the uh, trailer bed. And that way I can locate my chocks on the ground with the motorcycles and get them in position for where I want them on the trailer without having to push the bike on and off the trailer. Okay, now I've uh, laid out where the chocks need to go, made sure that I had the weight forward of the axle and to make sure I had clearance on the uh, fender wells here and, and that the bikes had clearance uh, against each other. And so now I think I'm ready to uh, mount them on the trailer. What I've done here on each end of the leg of the uh, Condor shocks here, I've drilled a hole through the Condor shock and through the deck of the aluminum trailer and I've installed uh, these pins here. They're 3 8 pins and so I drilled the holes just slightly oversized uh, 25 64 and so all I have to do is locate the chalk over the holes, push the pin in, and the chalk is on the trailer. It's just that simple. And I'll be able to pull them on and off real easily. Now the only thing to do here is I got both of them on is uh, take one off and center the other chalk in case I just want to haul one bike and drill two more holes. Okay, I have the uh, chalk centered uh, on the trailer now and I've drilled the holes. And the only thing we have to do here is clean up. But I'll also, uh, with these pins here, I will take it and figure out some way to strap them onto the uh, Condor shock so that we don't lose these in transit. And so I'll somehow attach them here to this. And then we'll just be able to push them in and leave it with it. So that's the only thing left to do yet. Well, after a trip to Home Depot, I bought uh, two three-foot pieces of... 332nd stainless steel cable and some aluminum stops and as you can see there I've uh, swedged those on there and so now I have my pins uh, tied into the uh, through the loop here and to the pins so I can just take it and go ahead and push it in on uh, both sides here and that locks in uh, the uh, Condor chalk uh, for the motorcycles. So I won't lose my pins now, and that's the way I handled uh, that project. Well, that brings us to a close on this video. Some of you might have a question of why I uh, just start pinning the chocks down instead of going ahead and bolting them down. Uh, the reason being is I want to be able to use them uh, inside my garage uh, for other purposes, uh, for maintenance, and uh, that'll make it easy for me to take it in and out. Also, I just don't trust uh, a chalk that's at that expensive to be bolted down on a trailer uh, and left outside. I'm just afraid that at some point somebody will come along and uh, help themselves to it and all they have to do is unbolt it. This way I can keep them secure and uh, inside the garage at all times, and that way it just won't be a temptation for somebody to steal them. Well, hopefully you uh, like this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care.